In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 1, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Kansas vs. TCU The Kansas Jayhawks will travel to Skullmayer Arena in Fort Worth, Texas on Tuesday night for a Big 12 Conference showdown against the TCU Horned Frogs. The Jayhawks are trying to close out the Big 12 season strong after snapping their four-game conference winning streak over the weekend. Kansas comes in with a 23-5 overall record, including a 12-3 overall record through 15 Big 12 games. Meanwhile, TCU has dropped four of its last six games to enter with an 18-9 overall record including a 7-8 record versus league opponents. Kansas is 6-2-1 against the spread in their last nine Tuesday games and 2-5 against the spread in their last seven road games. The over is 14-6 in Kansas' last 20 road games. TCU is 3-0-1 against the spread in their last four games and 2-9 against the spread in their last 11 Tuesday games. The over is 9-2 in TCU's last 11 games. The road team is 5-0 against the spread in these two teams' last five head-to-head -head meetings. Kansas won't be that flat two games in a row. It struggled from the field in a strange 80-70 loss to Baylor on Saturday, giving credit to the Bears for a great defensive performance. But the Jayhawk defense was great at stopping the threes. TCU doesn't make threes as they don't take enough of them, and they don't make them when they do. It's a team that should fit Kansas perfectly. TCU wants a relatively low-scoring game that relies on its rebounding ability and defensive toughness inside. Kansas hits its threes and it leads the Big 12 in defensive rebounds. If you're not able to run in a shootout in the 80s, you have to score whenever there's an opportunity. TCU doesn't get to the line enough, and it doesn't do enough when it's there. So Kansas to win and cover the spread spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Kansas has limited five of its last eight opponents under the 70-point plateau. Meanwhile, TCU owns an anemic offense and it also plays at the slowest pace in the Big 12, ranking dead last in the conference in adjusted tempo. This should be a defensive game with TCU treasuring each possession. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Michigan State vs. Michigan Two in-state rivals collide in a pivotal Big Ten battle as the Michigan State Spartans visit the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan State enters Tuesday's action off their biggest win of the year, a 68-65 victory over number 4-ranked Purdue. The Spartans are now 10-7 in Big Ten play. Michigan is coming in after a tough 93-85 loss to Illinois that dropped the Wolverines to 9-8 in the conference. When these two teams met back on January 29th, Michigan State cruised to an 83-67 win. The home team is 7-0 against the spread in the last seven meetings. The Spartans are 2-6 against the spread in their last eight games overall and are 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games following a straight-up win. These teams are pretty even on paper, with neither holding a clear statistical advantage over the other. Michigan has performed solidly at home this season with a 9-4 straight-up record. Recently, they have done a nice job bouncing back from tough games, going 4-0 against the spread in their last four games following an against-the-spread loss. Michigan State has struggled on the road in recent weeks, going 0-4 against the spread in their last four. Look for a hungry Michigan team in need of a win to jump on the Spartans early and do a much better job of limiting them from the field after allowing 55% on all-field goal shooting, including 50% from beyond the arc in their first meeting. Hunter Dickerson will be a major factor in this game and lead a much better Michigan performance on their home floor. Michigan Wolverines to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both teams are fairly slow in terms of tempo, but neither squad defends very well. Michigan also possesses the 24th-ranked adjusted offensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. The first meeting went over the total, despite Michigan having some struggles on the offensive end. The Wolverines have gone over in three of their last four games. They've also allowed 78 points per game over their last four games. So neither of these teams is setting the world on fire with their pace of play. Michigan State ranks 150th in Kempham adjusted tempo while Michigan ranks 228th. With that said, both teams have put up solid offensive numbers, 
with each squad averaging over 72 points per game. The Wolverines and the Spartans both shoot the ball well, converting at 45.5% or better from the field. Neither defense has been overwhelming in limiting opponents, and both units will have their work cut out for them on Tuesday. The over is 11-4 in Michigan's last 15 games against teams with winning records. While Michigan State has been trending more towards the under, that will not be the case tonight. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. St. Bonaventure vs. VCU The VCU Rams will host the St. Bonaventure Bonnies today in an Atlantic 10 showdown between teams with a real shot to secure the conference's automatic bid this season. St. Bonaventure beat VCU 73-53 as a three-point home favorite on January 14th. Both teams come into this contest on a seven-game winning streak. VCU Rams sit with a 20-7 record and have gone 17-9-1 against the spread. In the last game against UMass, the defense gave up only 62 points and that led to the 15-point victory. VCU is averaging 65.9 points while their defense is giving up 60.9 points per game. Vince Williams Jr. has been the top player for VCU averaging 12.8 points while shooting 47.3% from the field and 39.2% from behind the three-point line. On the other side of this matchup is St. Bonaventure that comes into this game with a 19-7 record, and they have gone 10-15-1 to to against the spread. The Bonnies have won seven games in a row, including the last game against St. Joseph's, where they gave up only 52 points. The Bonnies are averaging 71.3 points, while their defense is giving up 66.4 points per game. Jalen Attaway has been the top player for St. Bonaventure, averaging 15.9 points while shooting 49.4% from the field and 39.7% from behind the three-point line. The Bonnies barely eked out a victory in their last game, but that was a particularly close call during this seven-game win streak. St. Bonaventure has scored 68 or more points in six of those outings, so they've been pretty consistent offensively. So St. Bonaventure to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. VCU's offense has come together strong over the last few weeks. The Rams have scored at least 71 points in six of their last seven games, and the over is 6-1-1 to one to one in their last eight games. The Bonnies put up 73 points in the first meeting against VCU and have scored at least 73 points in four of their last five games. Expect the crowd to be electric tonight and for this game to exceed the low total. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.